Jonathan and welcome to my channel Jonathan's Diamond Painting and Stuff. If you're new here, welcome and if you're coming back to me, welcome back. I'm so glad to have you here. So today I'm just going to be doing an unboxing video. I'm actually filming this ahead of time because my husband is actually literally going to kick this up this weekend as I, I don't think I actually said on other videos but I might have done it. Um, bit of a scatty brain at the moment but um, apologies for the lighting um, if it's not as good as it usually is I don't normally film this late in the day this is actually pitch black outside now you know welcome October finally cozy weather yay but you know yeah so yeah so apologies for that I've tried to you know limit it limit the, uh, it as much as I can um, so I hope the, the video is still okay right so this kit um, is has been out for a while. It's by an artist called Ajar Tria. Um, I hope that I pronounced that correctly. She is an American artist um, in California, I think, who has painted quite a few of these um, um, Starry Night-like themed paintings, uh, particularly with animals in often. Um, but I think she's done quite a few though actually outside of the ones that have been converted to Diamond Art Club kits um, for instance she's um, um, she's done a, a Super Mario one I, think, I believe you know uh, yeah but it's all that lovely classic Starry Night um, that Van Gogh started you know it was, his, it was his painting you know that lots of people have adapted that into a style now and I actually have a Lego kit you know about it I might try and put a picture up now of that you know uh, just to show the influence that Van Gogh has had on the world through this through his technique and how just an amazing artist he was really you know so yeah so she's done quite a few there is about three cat ones at the moment I think there's a tabby a uh, a ginger cat and I can't remember the other cat um, but um, but yeah I'll try to pop pictures of them all up and I think the all the cats are in stock at the moment not showing low stock yet there's a Jurassic night one so like a night with the meteor and the t-rex and everything which is quite cool as well oh and finally there's a uh, there's a little white dog one you know which I think is actually sold out you know but dog ones tend to sell, tend to sell out over cat ones I don't know why cats are better than me but uh, you know cat well sorry cats rule and dogs rule to me but that's just me I'm a real cat person so it's, apologies dog lovers out there you know I mean I love my set my friend Sarah's little dog Sid you know he's a really really cute um cross between a Japanese Shih Tzu and a Beige on Freeze um really cute so excitable little thing you know but um but yeah I'm more of a cat person than a dog person so but for pet lovers this is brilliant and my husband loves 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 cats and doing stuff with cats in so I recently got in Kitten's Reflection which unfortunately was discontinued by Dak I'm not sure why uh, but sometimes the licensing they only do one run or the, or the painting but anyway I digress sorry for a ramble today um yeah so I'll just do the unboxing now um and um yeah so so right so this is Tabby Knight by Ajar Tria uh, it's a square painting denoted by the blue square and blue theming on the box um, it's a Diamond Art Club kit and it is 65 by 65 centimeters. So it's not the hugest one. It's a total square painting, you know. So yeah, so let's um, get this opened. Just before I do, on the back of the box, there's just the kit contents, which I will go through in a minute. Um, a few basic instructions, um, but the more detailed instructions are inside. Okay, so just get some scissors and open this and as before my husband has kind of given me permission to unbox this on his behalf because as you know he doesn't like starring in my videos <laughs> okay let's get this open
first of all we have our toolkit and it's a new style toolkit so this should have the cover minder and the washi tape in Ooh, beautiful have i got that color i haven't so this is a rose um and there's quite a few different colours of these out there, so I'm quite thrilled to have another colour to add to my collection. As you know, Diamond Art Club are discontinuing their um, um, their co um, the cover minders in a few a few months' time. You know, so you know, yeah. So I'm in, I'm enjoying these while I still have them. You know, I don't use them a lot, uh, but I just do occasionally. But I like to collect them more than anything. So that's a beautiful, um, very, very dusky pink, I think. Um, but, um, but yeah. Just a little look. Is that, is that any better? No, no. And then there's a nice kind of a polka dot um, washi tape. Really, really nice and sweet. And then you have your tray. Your drill tray, um, which is a nice standard drill tray. Actually, is it in here? Oops, sorry. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I was just making sure the stopper was with it. It comes with a stopper, so if you like that to stop the drills coming out, that's perfect. And it's a nice basic little tray. Uh, works really well. The lines are really solid and really good, but it's not very big, so I do prefer to use my premium trays, but that's pretty good. Um, you've got your seven placer and your four placer for the multi placing. Very good slim ones. Um, if you've not got any of the permanent metal ones yet, um, it's just, you've got the squishy and oh, actually, did I forget to take? Ooh, <laughs> that is n oh dear. There's no hole in this, is there? There doesn't appear to be. A drill pen with this unless I was over enthusiastic and dropped it on the floor which I don't think I did no I've had it a few times recently where bits and pieces haven't been um, here now I'm sure Diamond Art Club will sort that out this out for me if I contacted them but as I don't actually use the um, the um, contents of this kit apart from the cover minder and the washi tape um, I'm not that bothered so I, w I could contact Dak, you know, to get a replacement. But to be honest, I, I, I probably won't because um, what I'm bothered about is the drills and the kit. Uh, sorry, and the canvas and everything. To me, uh, those are the things that I'm more bothered about than this. Um, but just being transparent. And, and then you've got the little baggies um, to put your spare drills in when you're kitting up. Okay, I'll just put all these away. Gonna get the canvas out. Just check there's nothing in there. Nope. It comes with a sticker. I'll just superimpose a picture of this uh, over the screen now, anyway. And you can put this on the side of the box, um, or just put it in your logbook, or do what if you want with it. I'm just collecting these at the moment until I can figure out what I'm gonna do with them because I don't really use them. Okay. Just gonna unpeel. Just making sure I don't. There we go. It's just gonna slowly peel this back. Just try and do that slowly so you don't damage the bag because you'll want to use this again. It's on a beautiful, beautiful soft canvas, um, which is, um, I think this is, might be patented by DAC. So it's very, very high quality. Um, just give you that feel of luxury when you look at it compared to other kits. Um, I'm just going, before we look at the canvas, just going to look at the drills and everything. Okay. First of all, we've got the little leaflets. Um, has some step-by-step -step instructions there. Also a lovely QR code to link to some instructions online for a video if you've learned better that way. And also a QR code linking to the VIP group on Facebook. Now that's a very, very good group to be in. It's got over 30,000 members and it just um, 
it's just got lots of people with good knowledge and um you know you know if you want troubleshooting something or you're struggling you know or you just want to share your progress among people like-minded people that's a really good group um there's also the dat fans uk facebook group as well um which is um also an exclusive dac group um uh, full of people in the uk but you have to be a member of sorry you have to be a resident of the united kingdom and to um to become a member of that one yeah and some tips and tricks and a, and a 10 percent off your next purchase using this coupon code um and then again on the back there's 20 percent off your first purchase through the app so you can use that um if you're a um even if you're it's you're not a brand new customer um but if it's your first time using the app you can use that um i I've just recently got an affiliate link um, for um, for Diamond Dark Club, which I'll put in details below. If you are a new customer and you click through that, you will get ten dollars off your first purchase. I know there's pos there's better codes out there, but if you uh, but if you do click through that link, I will get a small commission, which I put straight back into this channel. Um, you know, so yeah, just um, just so you know that and this is the sticker sheet so we have got 42 colors so there's not a lot of colors in this so this will be good for my husband i think because it's only his second project you know and the special drills we have four ab's and it's an older kit so there's no um speciality drills apart from the ab's so we've got a blue, a pale green, kind of a golden yellow, and an emerald green. Okay. And looking at the palette, I mean, there's a lot of blue in this, obviously, because of the sky. Um, uh, quite a few bits of green as well for the grass. And then, obviously, you've got all those brown tones that make up the cat. So, and then a few pops of yellow here and there. So let's just get the drills open. I'm just going to open these sped up because of the noise. Right, I'm going to do something a bit different uh, to this video. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to group the drills into colours and I'm going to like kind of put some pictures uh, from that point in the video um, of those colours and just show you how many of them, how many bags of those there are and yeah, just um, so you can get a very quick overview of what drills are in this kit. Um, do give me feedback to see if this is like um, something you like um, and w want me to continue because, I'm, like I said, I'm still learning, you know, what works best in my videos, okay? First of all, we'll do some dark colours. So, because there's a lot of dark in this. Um, right, so... <laughs> We have got four bags of 310. F three bags of, uh, of 938. It's a dark, laid dark brown. Uh, two bags of very dark green, 890. Um, I'll set them for blue. Um, three bags of 823, which is very uh, it's like a navy black i call that um and we've got a couple of grays so 318 which is a mid gray and 413 which is a darker gray okay right now we'll go on to the blues so we've got a beautiful um Royal blue, which obviously it's um uh, from the um look at the look at the picture you can see all it, that's all going to be in this that beautiful sky. So we've got one, two, three bags of eight o three, but we've got an even royaler blue, which is this is a beautiful one. So we've got three bags of eight twenty. Um, we've got a couple of bags of this beautiful turquoise three eight four five. Um. I think that's that done. And I will leave the ABs to last. We've got another couple of bright blues, 995. 
Um, we've got a three seven five five, which is a which is a pale um, a pale blue, and then we've got one six two, which is an even paler blue. <laughs> Apologies, I'm just going to put this in with the darks. We've also got a dark brown, 839, and a, a very, very dark grey, a 413. Okay, have we got any more blues? I don't think so. Okay, so we will go on to the greens now. Okay, so we have got lovely bright grassy green here, 911. Uh, we've got a couple of bags of a deeper green 904. That's it for that. Then we have got a, a beautiful emerald green 909. A kind of um, a bright, a brightest green with 912. And we've got even brighter green 907. Minty green 954 and a yellowy green 3819. Okay. So we're done blue, we're done green, we're done. I guess there's purple, isn't there, as well? Do that Okay. Um Yellows, not very many. There's just this 743. And. That's about it, actually, for the yellow. Uh, apart from the AB, which I'll go over in a minute. But we've got a cream, which I'll put into that category, which is 3823. Okay, so purples. Now, I did say that we had a grey, uh, this 4-1, no, no, sorry, where is it? Yeah, this 3-1-8, I'm not sure that I said that was a grey or not, but that's, I think that's a very, very dark, I'm trying to think if that's a dark purple. No, that's a grey. Okay, so purple, we have got 3-4-1, um, which is a very nice lilac. And 159, another nice lilac there. That's it for purples. And then just a few shades of brown. Um, 3857, 3792, that's a more of a beige. 841, another pale brown. Um, that's another beige colour, 3033. Paler brown 840 again, a lot of tiny detailing in these bits actually. And then we've got the fleshy colour 945. And oh, yes, we've got 983 here, which is a caramel brown. Um, let's have a look what else we've got. It's kind of brown going into red 632. And as we've just spoken to about red, it's, there's a 407 there, which is a pale, pale red. Almost a pink, that. Okay. So I mentioned the cream, didn't I? We've just got one orange, 740. And I think that is it for that one. And I've gone through all of these. Yes, I think I have. Okay, I'll just go through the ABs now. So, we have got number one, which is 120, which is this beautiful turquoise blue. Um, that's a beautiful blue. 
Then we have got number two, which is a green one, two, nine. Where are you? That's one, three, four. One of these. Is it? Oh, for some reason I thought it was a green. It's actually a pale yellow. Should know because that's in my current kits. So that's one two nine, pale yellow. Then number three is a bright yellow, one three one. There you go, it's beautiful. And then we have got an emerald green, which is this green I just had there, one three four. So a few. Beautiful different ABs. So, just going to put all these away and I will put them away later. And let's just get this canvas out. There we go. And isn't that a beauty? I mean, it's actually, I might actually fit it on, on camera. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much almost all of it, actually. Not quite, but very nearly. Isn't that beautiful? So much detail. But quite a bit of confetti as well. <laughs> oh, my husband's going to get some training doing this. <laughs> yeah. And I just, I just love these, this swirly effect, you know, with all the colours and just all the good use of different colour. Um, but, but yeah. And I love the cat. I mean, we've got two tabbies, one long, one short haired, and Guybrush, our short haired tabby, that I'll put a picture up for now, is very similar to this one. And that is Alan's cat. Alan's cat, really. Because um, Al, um, we both have a cat, you know, that comes to us more. You know, and mine's Justin and Alan's is Guybrush, you know. So this will speak a lot to him, I think. It's just a beautiful image, you know. So, so yeah, and just looking at it, there is, like I said, there are some blocks of colour here and there. There's a lot of lines, which will be good for him learning how to use the multiplicer tool. Um, there's not a huge amount of black in this part of the painting it's more detailing here and there um and a little bit of detailing in bits of the cat but not all over but the majority of it i think is all through the plants here there's quite a bit of dark areas where there's bits of sorry there's bits of black um just here and there between all these leaves and everything you know so that's where that will be um, what is 823? Because that's quite a dark, almost black E. So 823 E is going to be, that is just built up here in these, I guess are these hills or something? I'm not sure. But um, but yeah, so that, um, actually, let's have a look at the original artwork. Yeah, I think those are mountains or hills or um these here so there's a bit of E in there and there's a lot of E's building up some of these darker areas of blue because E is a very 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 dark navy um, but yeah um, and I think really most of the yellowy colours are in the moon or some very very little detailing in this just beneath the mountains um, and there is in these flowers here um, and here but 
let's have a look for these a b s okay right so first of all number one turquoise so that is interspersed all throughout these sections of sky so there's so there's some here here just building up these swirls really just all around here scattered here scattered up here across there going up there um and i think there's not very much in this upper bit just here and here as the section gets a bit darker and then again on this side all of this section here which is um just kind of as the sky is a bit paler towards the mountains um that's this is all ones and um interspersed with actually more ABs here so we'll just go on to the twos and the threes so there's a pale yellow two and that orangey three um all interspersed in this bit so this bit will really pop you know and talking about twos and threes there is a lot excuse me there is a lot of three that moon is almost entirely comprised of threes um and yeah, I know he won't enjoy. <laughs> he does not like placing A, B. So I don't think he'll enjoy that bit, but he'll get good at it at least, you know. And you'll be able to just go to town to multiplacing on that, you know. And Cat's Putty that I use is really, really good for the multiplacing. So, yeah, so that that's um, all freeze. Um, no twos in there, but it's a little bit of freeze. Uh, so this is the orangey A, B, just around the outside of that bit you know and um, just adding a bit of pops of color here and there to that that kind of blue from the moon there's a tiny little bit of detailing here in the night sky um yeah just some freeze there and a little bit of orange around it and the same with on this on this side um just some freeze again um and yeah and there's a few twos so twos the pale yellow one um, are interspersed in the night sky again so there's some around here some of these swirls and again there's some here quite a few actually around this swirl here and that swirl is going to be beautiful because that's just all going in from the pale colors so all the pale paler paler as you get into the center of that swirl when you've got some whites and then you've got some tiny bit of orange ab's in the very middle of that so i think that's really clever use of ab's actually um, and again, you've got some freeze here and some more freeze building up. I think that's actually flowers that are, are flown into the wind, I think. So that's beautiful detail. Um, so let's go on to number four, which is our emerald green AB. So now that there is some in the sky here, there's actually a little bit of green around this moon. That's beautiful. So... And there's some, with that green, there's some four, number four ABs just around this section here. Um, and just a little bit here, but I don't think there's any in the other section of sky. But then obviously as we go down, oh apologies, there's some a pale yellow and orange AB in the cat's eyes. And there's just some orange here. So those cat's eyes, like cat's eyes, do glow you know, at night, you know, they'll really pop. And there is some uh, pale yellow ABs in this side of the cat, you know, just adding a bit of um, shading and detail there. Um, and there's a lot of uh, pale yellow ABs going down into this field that the cat is sat in, you know, so that will bring out a lot of the detail in the um, in this section, you know, so in this all this. Um, all this uh, overgrowth um, but yeah so the green ABs are interspersed throughout here so all in all these um, leaves and everything and plants there's they're all over the place here there here there here there here 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 yeah so that will look amazing um, there is also some orange ABs just building up in this flower section here and just as you're getting close to the mountains just here there's quite a bit there as well um, but um, yeah I think that is um, that is all the ABs and I think I've got them all this time <laughs>
so yes yeah, so what are going to say actually if i think the largest blocks of color in this painting are actually in the cat and they're actually k which is, is that a very dark brown yes nine three eight so that's the dark brown so k is just in quite big blocks throughout the cat so that will um i think that will be the most color blocking so that'll be good practice for my husband to get used to color blocking but this is a this is quite a high confetti piece, I would say. Um, I wouldn't say it's the most advanced in the world because it does have some blocks of colour and a lot of the confetti is in lines. You know, there are lots of horizontal and vertical lines, you know, so it's not all, you know, just like um, really, really dense confetti with lots and lots and lots of different colours, you know. So I think... Um, yeah, I think um, it will be beautiful when it comes up because there is all that confetti which will add all that detail. The ABs, I think, are all in the right places. Um, but yeah, it's... Um, and it's not so big. It's only 65 by 65. So I don't think it will be the quickest one to come up, come along. Um, but my husband did Spring Shine, which was quite a lot of confetti in that. And that was a very, very tough first project because there was a lot of green in that all lots of different shades of green so yeah i think he'll, i think he'll be up for this you know i i think he'll enjoy it you know so and i think he follows what i tell him well what i teach him you know so he'll probably start from, start from the top you know and aim down and i think that's the right way because i think it's darker at the top so i think this this painting will get a bit easier the further down you go but to be honest it is all quite um, detailed work in this one but I think that's good you know because it just gives all that detail of the cat and of the sky and everything but I think this is a beautiful beautiful render yeah and I'm really looking forward to seeing him work on this and seeing how he does I don't think he'll get this done very quickly but I will post progress in my whip and chats you know as he gets on with it okay but yeah so Highly recommend this one. I'm very, very happy with this. Um, beautiful, beautiful piece from, from Diamond Art Club. And like I said, the artist, Ajar Tria, has about four, four or five pieces on Diamond Art Club. And I'm sure she, she'll have more in the future because I think these do uh, these do sell. I mean, some sell better than others, I think. But uh, because I think these cat this cat one has been on for a while and there's another two cat ones. But I think they're just stable sellers, you know, they just um you know people buy them every now and then you know so but yeah so oh shall i measure it it should be i don't know actually because this is an older kit and it is um um it's um i don't know if it's obviously a new printing because it's um actually tell a lie it's got a cover minder I can't remember the date this one came out, apologies. <laughs> but this is 65 by 65. So, oh, just under 65 actually on the length. Oh, that might just be me. No, yeah, it's true to size, 65 by 65. So uh, this is one of, this will, this will be a new, this is a new style kit on a new canvas, uh, most likely with the new drills. So this will be quite, a nice one to work on if you don't if you want to avoid the old old drills you know okay so yeah so i will just pan over this now and then i i will just close my final comments
So yeah, I'm really looking forward to my husband working on this. I'm surprised that he wanted to start it right now because I thought he'd want to do Christmas um, stuff now, but he seems to be keen to start this one because I think he misses his diamond painting when he's just gone over to some do some um, Halloween Lego. So yeah, but I didn't, I'm surprised. So I'm glad he's getting into the hobby. You know, he's got his own little stash, although he's very adamant it's not gonna get any bigger right now, um, but we'll see. But yeah, so really, really looking forward to seeing him working on this. I hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked it, please give me the thumbs up. That just helps other people find my video more easily. And uh, if, if you like my video content and you haven't subscribed yet, please consider hitting the subscribe button to be notified for more, more videos that I do. Um, and if you want to be notified, just hit the bell icon and the all to get all the notifications when I release a new video. As always, bye for now.